The past recipients of the AFI Award were the original architects of cinema. In fact, you know, the first industry event I ever attended was right here. It was the first annual AFI Award for director John Ford, an artist whose body of work totals more than 130 motion pictures. And just one day before I came to this event, I had just finished shooting my first feature, The Sugarland Express. And now I stand here before my family and my friends and my industry peers 23 years later with a body of directed work of about 16 movies. I have to get off my ass. <laughs> the one thing is, I am a cinemaniac. And I'm, I'm scared to death of the dark, except when in a motion picture theater. I love to see images, because I love images that tell stories. Before I ever knew how to read, I used to look at the Sunday funnies and still understand everything the storyteller wanted me to. And that's what I love to do more than anything else. I love to make pictures so I can look at them, so you could look at them, and so I can watch you looking at them, which is really, for me, the best part. If I had to single out one area to which I have an utter devotion, it would be with my preoccupation with the idea and the fight to still believe in the idea when so many others around you just don't get it, and the challenge of staying interested in one single idea for sometimes years, and the struggle not to contaminate that idea after months and years of obsessing over it. When I was in my early teens, I stayed up all night writing a screenplay and felt something to this day I swear I cannot get enough of. It was as close to the feeling of flying as I have ever had. You know what I mean when, when you're trying to get the words on paper and you're three thoughts ahead of yourself and it's a race to get it all down before it goes back to wherever that, that stuff originally comes from? And it was called Inspiration. And I actually made a movie from that script I wrote all night and it was called Firelight. And it was truly an awful movie. <laughs> but the process was what it was all about. The experience of that obsessive focus of having an idea and actually being able to photograph it. That's been the magic potion for me ever since. 